Welcome back to Go Southern Alberta and Happy New Year. It is 2014. We're talking all about how to stay healthy, get healthy, your New Year's resolutions. You know those ones you made that are broken already? It's only a few days into January. I'm here to tell you, yes, I'm here to tell you there is hope. There is hope because Dana Gackley is here and she provides hope. Dana, it's been a long time since you've been hanging out before. It's been, been a while. How are you doing? Good. It's good to see you again. It's been a whole two years, I guess, already passing, so you're due for another workout, I see. I just woke up from my nap from the last time we were here and I'm feeling good. So what do we got going on behind us? We've got a co-ed kickboxing plus cross training type of class. So we combine kickboxing with all kinds of different equipment to keep it interesting. Okay. I noticed there's a wide variety in activities. Now, can you kind of tell us what is going on here in the background? Um, well, the obvious with them on the bags, we've got uh, elevation walls that um, we just got into the studio not so long ago. Um, using sandbags, using BOSU balls, um, hurdles. We try and get a TRX, we try and change it up all the time, bringing out the big tire and just really changing up the types of equipment we use and how we use it. I noticed there was a sledgehammer to a tire. Where did that idea come from? Well, it's just one of the many ways you can use a tire, and if you need to get a little aggression on, <laughs> the sledgehammer is perfect. <laughs> now, the this kickboxing class, is it mainly for developing strength? Is it for cardio? Why would somebody come to this? Um, well, kickboxing itself is really good as far as getting the heart rate up and burning calories. Um, so it is good for both strength and cardio. And because we have so many different elements of adding the different equipment in, you're really getting a good full body workout that really confuses the muscle. And that's what really gives results. It's, it's always changing. It, uh, it seems intimidating for somebody who has never done something like this before. Do you have people who have been coming here all the time and a mix of new people? Is it intimidating for new people to come? Um, well, with this class, it has developed into more of an intermediate advanced type of class because the people that are in this particular class have come for a long time, so they, they are pretty ready for kind of those tougher workouts but we do have classes to introduce people to it and it not being intimidating to put on some boxing gloves and to actually start boxing a little bit with it so we do have different levels to introduce people as well. Okay it is intimidating on many levels I can tell you that much for what's going on in the background but if somebody wants more information and to find out uh, how to get involved in one of these classes where do they go about finding it? Um, they could find me on Facebook at Elevation Fitness and Cross Training. Um, same with on Twitter or calling me. Um, so there's different ways. Website as well? Website as well. Um, so yeah, there's lots of different avenues. It's mostly the social media, it seems like, is the best way that people tend to, to get in touch. So. All right. Well, I'm looking forward to getting whipped into shape because uh, it is 2014. One of my goals is to get off the couch and sleep more. So wait, that doesn't make any sense. But nonetheless, I think we should get... I think you're, are you ready to whip me into shape today? I think you're due. I'm going to get some uh, muscle on this girlish figure of mine, but uh, stay tuned for more.